In this video, we are going to discuss gouged out shading. So, how this particular shading model works and how does it differ from the flat shading, we shall discuss that one. So, it is proposed by Henry Gaudaud and computing the color per vertex by the local illumination model and then interpolating the color within the polygons. Here we are using interpolation, but in case of flat model, after getting the color on the very particular point within a particular polygon, we have we fill that polygon with the respective color. But here we are interpolating the color within the polygons. So, here is one diagram and here we are considering this point with the coordinate that is alpha, beta and gamma. So, now let me go for the detailing. So, we can interpolate the color by barycentric coordinates and the barycentric coordinates are the triples of numbers corresponding to masses placed at the vertices of a reference triangle. So, here we consider this one triangle and here we are having the masses which have been placed at this respective corner points and using this particular formula that is the alpha C1 plus beta C2 plus gamma C3 we are calculating this barycentric points respective value and this barycentric point will be having the coordinate that is alpha comma beta comma gamma. So, we can interpolate the color by, body, by the barycentric coordinates and barycentric coordinates are triple of numbers corresponding to the masses placed at the vertices of a reference triangle. So, you can consider this triangle as a reference triangle. These masses then determine a point which is the geometric centroid of the three masses and is identified with the coordinates. So, here we have considered one new concept that is a barycentric coordinates. So, following steps are required to carry out each polynomial phase of the surface mesh and for the shading scheme. So, here we are having four different steps. So, we shall go one by one. Step 1. Determine the unit normal vector at each vertex of a polygon. If a vertex is shared by a number of polygon faces, the average of the normals of to all the faces at that vertex gives the desired normal vector. So, for each and every vertex of the polygon, we shall calculate the normal vector. Step number 2. Find the intensities at each vertex by applying illumination model separately using respective vertex normals. Step 3. For each scan line, calculate intensities at the intersection of a scan line with an edge by linear interpolation of intensities at the edge end points. So, here we are calculating the intensities at the intersection of the scan line and the respective edge of the polygon by linear interpolation of intensities. Step number 4. Calculate intensities at point along a scan line between the edges by linear interpolation of intensities at the intersection of the scan line with the respective edges. So, here you can find that we are calculating the respective intensities not for all points falling on the scan line by using the local illumination model, but here we are taking the help of interpolation to calculate the respective intensities on the points falling on the scan line. Now, computing the vertex normals. So, here you see this is one diagram and here we are having multiple different polygons and each and every polygon has its own normal. And this particular normals which are there for respective polygon from where I shall be calculating the, the respective normal for this vertex. So, find vertex normals by averaging the face normals. So, there is a vertex normal we are going to calculate by averaging the face normals. So, these are the face normals we are having. So, this is the respective equation with the help of which this vertex normal will be calculated from the average of the face normals. So, use vertex normals with desired shading model and interpolate vertex intensities along the edges and interpolate edge values across a scan line. 
So here one of the major disadvantage of Gaurav shading is that it avoids finding surface normal at each point of every scan line. So it is not going to calculate the vertex normal for each point on the scan line. And as a result, the change in the curvature from point to point will remain overlooked. So just see here we are having one Gaurav shading shaded flow. So you just see the performance of this of this shading and here is a Fong shaded flow and this Fong shading will be discussing next and here we are getting the better performance here. So Gaurav shading is not good when the polygon count is low. So also you are getting this idea that how this Gaurav shading is overlooking and overlooking the respective curvatures which is available on the surface. So in this video we have discussed Gaurav shading. Thanks for watching this video.